Watches and Wonders 2024 has just wrapped up, and we finally have the answer to the burning question. Will the Rolex Pepsi be discontinued? I'm sure that most of you watch enthusiasts know the answer by now. It is a definitive no. In this video, we'll explore how the market reacted to the discontinuation rumours leading up to Watches and Wonders 2024, as well as the subsequent confirmation that a Pepsi will remain in production. All the data in this video comes from watchcharts.com, the world's most powerful watch market research platform. Visit our website to understand high level watch market trends, get up to date pricing on over 24,000 watches, and track the value of your collection. Also, if you're interested in buying and selling among fellow collectors, then we invite you to visit the Watch Charts Marketplace at marketplace.watchcharts.com. Well, to kickstart this discussion, we first take a high-level look at the performance of the Rolex Pepsi over the past year and compare it to that of the Watch Charts GMT Master Market Index and Watch Charts Rolex Market Index. By now, we are all too familiar with the overall downward trend of the watch market since March 2022. This affected stainless steel sports watch models such as the GMT Master II collection particularly strongly. When looking at this comparison chart that we have here, it becomes evident that the Pepsi began to diverge from the established downward trend around September of 2023, as highlighted in the red circle. Is there an explanation for this deviation? Well, of course there is. Speculation, speculation, speculation. A quick Google search returns a trove of articles and forum threads centered around the potential discontinuation of the Rolex Pepsi in 2024. These discussions began surfacing towards the end of last year and continued to gain momentum through 2024, escalating right up to the official announcements at Watches and Wonders in April of 2024. Recently, we also engaged our Instagram audience on this topic, asking whether they believed the Rolex Pepsi would be discontinued. Out of 289 responses, the majority voted no. However, a significant 41% still entertained the possibility of its discontinuation. So what is all this speculation about? Well, to summarize the rumors surrounding the potential discontinuation of Rolex Pepsi, there is alleged production issues related to its ceramic bezel due to Rolex facing challenges in sourcing and manufacturing the Cerachrome bezels. Coincidentally, or perhaps a result of these challenges, it is claimed that Rolex has significantly reduced the number of Pepsis they ship to the retailers over the last 6 to 12 months. We know that rumors began circulating end of 2023, and Rolex officially announced their discontinuations on April 9th at Watches and Wonders 2024. Well, in this time span, the Rolex Pepsi's market price increased by 6%, from $19,100 to $20,300. In comparison, the watch charts GMT Master Market Index and Rolex Market Index fell 1.5% and 2.7% respectively. So what exactly did Rolex discontinue on April 9th their watches and wonders? Well, the day of reckoning came and went without a single mention of the GMT Master collection. The models that were discontinued were the Daytona Le Mans reference 126529LN, Datejust 36 Palm Down Fluted Dial, and the Yachtmaster 2 collection as a whole. So after six months of anticipation, the Rolex Pepsi would officially remain in production for 2024. And how did the market respond? Well, as expected, we saw a swift drop in the Pepsi's market price, although both the watch chart Rolex Market Index and GMT Master Market Index saw accelerated rates of decline, the percentage point decrease paled in comparison to that of the Pepsi. Well, it's important to also take into account supply as a key metric. This will help us better understand the change in price of the Rolex Pepsi. When we analyze the supply metrics of the Pepsi compared to the watch charts GMT Master 2 market index, it becomes evident that the Pepsi has deviated not only from the market price trends, but also from supply patterns. The watch charts GMT Master Index has maintained a relatively stable sales volume and experienced a consistent increase in supply 
over the past three years. In contrast, the Pepsi supply saw a steady decline from December 2022 until February 2024, which marked an inflection point where supply began to increase again. Closer examination also reviews a steady decrease in its sales volume from December 2023 to the present, possibly due to speculators getting cold feet as the day of reckoning approached. It is important to note that the latest data points for both sales volume and supply are incomplete, as the month of April has not yet concluded. So in summary, the Pepsi price action over the past six months was fueled by discontinuation rumors. Since the confirmation that Pepsi would remain in production, we've seen its market price return to a downward trend. We've seen its supply increase, as well as its sales volume decrease. So if you're still in the market for a GMT Master 2, in particular stainless steel GMT Master 2, we're now going to take a look at how they rank up against one another. You really have three options here. You've got the Pepsi, the Sprite, and a bad girl. We understand that a new stainless steel model was announced at Watches and Wonders 2024, the grey and black bezel REF126710 GRNR. However, they have yet to hit a secondary market, but rest assured, analytics will be available on our site in the coming months. So as of today, the Rolex Pepsi commands the largest premium of the three, trading at approximately $20,200, followed by the Sprite at $18,300, and the bat go at 16,200. So we're gonna leave you with this question. Is the Rolex Pepsi worth its premium over its counterparts? Do let us know and we hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you around.